Now we're going to look at using Alarm Review. The Alarm Review application allows you to view stored alarms and saved strips. Stored alarms are automatically added to the alarm history when the alarm is generated, and saved strips are ways that you manually save from other review applications. We can view these by selecting Alarm Review, but note that it can take up to 60 seconds for the data to be stored and available for viewing in the review application. The number of alarms that will display in the Alarm Review depends on the current timeline duration. You can change the timeline duration by selecting Settings. You can see that our duration is currently set at 24 hours, and this is the default. Let's leave it there, and then when we go back to the time window, we can use the arrows to move backwards and forwards in time if we need to. The end of the timeline duration is set to the time of the last alarm for the current patient. Let's take a look at the different tiles that we can find here. The Alarm Review application includes three tiles, Compressed, Strip Window, and Tabular. The compressed tiles allow you to see 30 seconds of compressed wave strips. Next is the strip window tile. This allows you to see uncompressed waves for an alarm or a saved strip in detail for review or for annotation. And then we have the tabular tile. This allows you to see an alarm strip on the top of the window and a list of available alarms for the current timeline duration at the bottom of the window. The alarm strip at the top shows the vital sign measurement that's currently alarming, as well as showing other measurements at the alarm announced time. The measurements and values display across the top of the strip in order of priority. The time focus of the alarm strip for non-arrhythmia alarms is the announced time of the alarm. The alarm announced time is indicated by black carrots at the top and at the bottom of the strip. The time focus for arrhythmia alarms, the short yellows, is the onset of the alarm. The alarm onset time is indicated by green carrots at the top and bottom of the strip. To filter the alarm group displayed, we select the filter icon. The drop-down box allows you to select a category, and a list of available alarms within that timeline duration will appear at the bottom of the screen. To search for alarms by alarm type, for example AFib, we type AFib in the search box and press the search icon. The Information Center searches all alarms for the current patient's timeline duration and will display a list of matching alarm strips at the bottom of the window. We can then use the arrows on the sidebar to move backwards and forwards in time for other strips in our search criteria. To create a custom alarm label for use when saving a strip, we can select the icon to the right of the strip. The Custom Alarm Labels dialog box will open. We select Add, and the Add Edit Alarm Relabel dialog box will open. We enter an alarm label in the Label field. Select OK, and the alarm label is added to the list. We can then use the up and down buttons to move the label up or down in the list. And then we can just select OK to close the Custom Alarm Label dialog box. For additional information, there are other videos that you can review, such as reviewing strips and creating a save strip.